Um, in this video, we're going to look at ratios. Um, when you think of ratios, think of um, a dilute orange or something like that. <coughs> and in a dilute orange, um, you might have, let's say, if I draw it this way, it might be easier. You might have this much dilute, and you might have three times as much water. Well, the ratio of dilute to water is 1 is to 3. The reason for that is you have one part dilute and you have three times that amount in the water. Okay, so for every one part of dilute you have, you have three times that amount of water. So if I put in two, let's say 20 litres of water, or 20 millilitres of water, well, I'd have three times that amount, so I'd have 60 millilitres of, um, sorry, 20 millilitres of dilute out of 60 millilitres of water. Okay? Because in this drink, the amount of water has to be three times bigger than the amount of dilute. Okay? Alright, with that in mind, let's have a look at this question. Tom and Dara agreed to work for Paddy. Tom worked for three hours, while Dara worked for eight hours. They are paid 165 euros between them. How much should they get? Okay. So really what I wanted to do is I want to divide this amount of money into the ratio 3 is to 8. Okay. Um, the reason I want to do that is because fairness would say that Tom should get, let's say, 3 hours worth of pay. Dara should get 8. Right. So there's my ratio, 3 is to 8. And how do I divide something into a given ratio? Well, I add the two ratios together and I get well, 8 and 3 is 11. And then I'm going to divide the 165 by 11 and I'm going to get 15. And all I do then is multiply the 15 by 3 and I get 45. Fifteen by eight, and I get one twenty. So, what that says really is, Tom should get the forty-five euros, and Dara should get the hundred and twenty euros. And to make sure we're right, if we add these together, we should get back to our one hundred and sixty-five. Okay. So um, that's that. Um, sometimes we might be asked to divide something into ratios, and it might be three different ratios. So, for instance, I want to divide 100 into the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. Okay. So, all I do is add up the ratios. 2 plus 3 plus 5 is 10. Divide the 100 by 10. I'll also get 10. Multiply this 10 by 2. I get 20. Divide by 3. I get 30. Multiply it by 5. I get... 50. So 100 divided into the ratio 2 is 3 is to 5 is 20, 30, 50. Alright? Okay, here is a junior set high level question. Uh, for any of the ordinary people, ordinary level people, concentrate on question 1. Question 2 is probably a little bit too tricky. Um, fruit X and Juicy are each made by mixing fruit juice and water. So it's a dilute orange or dilute whatever fruit drink. In fruit X, the ratio of fruit juice to water is 3 is to 7. So I'll write that out. 3 is to 7. So that means for every 3 parts there is fruit juice, there's 7 water. So there's more water than there is fruit juice in this drink. How many litres of fruit juice are in 20 litres of fruit X? Okay. Well, here's our fruit X and it's divided into juice and water. And there's 20 litres of it. And I want to divide that 20 litres, or I want to split up that 20 litres into the ratio 3 is to 7. So I add the 2 together, I get 10. I divide it into 20, divide the 10 into 20, I get 2. And I multiply then the 2 by 3, and I get 6, and the 2 by 7, and I get 14. And to check if I'm right, if I add the 6 and the 14, I get back to the 20. And my question is how many litres of fruit juice are in? Um, fruit X. Well, there is six litres. Okay. 
The next one then. 20 litres of Frutex is mixed with 40 litres of Juicy. In this 60 litre mixture, the ratio of fruit juice to water is 6 to 8. Find the ratio of fruit juice to water in Juicy. Okay, give your answer in its simplest form. Okay, well, so we have Frutex coming into that mixture and we also have juicy coming into this mixture and there's 60 litres of it and 20 is coming from the fruitex and 40 from the juicy and it is 7 is to 8 and that's the ratio juice is to water okay let's see how much juice and water are in this mixture okay so we divide the 60 into the ratio 7 is to 8 and add 7 and 8 and we get 15 divide 15 into 60 we will get 4 4 multiply 4 by 7 we get 28 multiply 4 by 8 we get 32 now remember we have our 20 liters of juicy included here and we know from our past question that there's six parts juice and 14 parts water so Remember here, it was 6 juice and 14 water. So in order to get how much, what the ratio is in juicy, well if I just take this 6, that's juice, away from this juice, I get 22. And if I take the 14 water away from 32, I get 18. So this 40 litres is made up of 22 litres of juice and 18 litres of water. And remember they asked us to put it in its simplest form. So divide, um, 2 will divide into both. So it's 11 is to 9. So there you go. So juicy has the ratio 11 parts juice nine parts water. Okay. Um, that's it guys. Thanks.